Hey guys, Adam from First Weekend Airsoft here. Uh, another review and unboxing for you guys today. Uh, today we have the Echo One G36C. Um, yep, obviously uh, made by Echo One. Uh, very nice rifle. That I got. Uh, this actually is not mine. This is one of my this is a guy on my team, Liam. Says. Um, and yeah, <laughs> the box is not spectacular. Uh, in the back just says Echo One. Uh, Liam kind of got hungry and kind of ate the box a little bit, so. <laughs> Open the box. Yeah, right. Open these two tabs. Alright, reveals uh not really much to the to this box. You have comes with a battery, a 1100 milliamp uh, nickel metal high drive battery. Actually, this is actually a nice battery. I mean, I'm surprised that, that came with something like this. It was usually has like the black top batteries and everything, but um, this is a tr trail charger. All charger, uh, crappy as can be. I recommend just throwing it out <laughs> and getting yourself a smart charger like this. If you live in Buffalo, go to the war store. All right, um, then this. Yeah. Oh, it also comes with braille condom. Oh God, Alright, so it comes with uh, it's gone. <laughs> comes with a classical stock. Alright, pulls over onto the hook right here. Pulls out, that's out of that. Um, this pin that keeps stay in. But, um, then pop up unit and just pull by the charging handle right here. And the extras, um, pull back the wheel, a uh, small wheel that you go up for hot and uh, down to decrease hot. Uh, such or such is also ambidextrous. And it, uh, yeah, uh, the, only, the only metal parts on here is the rails, the uh, button to push the stock in. And sugar, along with the selector switch, uh, comes with it's a uh, 450 round high cat magazine. Very, very good quality. I've only had a misfeed on it when I was using this gun one or twice. Uh, two little clips right here. You can, if you have another battery or another magazine or two, you can uh, clip those on in there and. Up in there, uh, high cap. Uh, let's see. Well, oh, yeah, the battery. Okay, so this comes off when you pull this pin out, which doesn't want to stay in today. But then you take and you put the battery in here. And I mean, it's a pain to get in. I've watched him struggle with it plenty of times. But then, once you got it up like this, and Goes back in like that. Then you put the pin back in. Oh, there we go. Goes in like that. All right. Also, this top rail, good for mounting uh, optics or a red dot sight, whatever you want. Uh, these little up sights right here. Two apertures. It does not adjust for windage or elevation or anything, which is somewhat surprising. Uh, and the front side just regular, also metal. Uh, all metal internals, this comes with a, right, a standard barrel. You could get a uh, mad war, or mad bull type war barrel, or any other kind of type war barrel. That'll increase your range and effects, effective C, effective C, whatever. Um, but it just shoots around, maybe around 380 to 400. Um, very reliable gun. He's had this gun for maybe two years, give or take a little bit. And I mean, it's still working fine. 
Uh, also, on the gun, it has the trademarks, back of one. So just get them. It's the caliber and the serial number. Okay. Uh, orange flash hider, uh, plastic, and glued on very well. Like I can't get it off <laughs> without uh, like a wrench or something. But uh, that's about it. Other than these, uh, oh, also there's these uh, sling points, mounts. I'm feeling that today, but one up here too. And one back here, so if you want to mount like a uh, one point sling, you have your sling right here. And that's, and uh, this one is only on one side, it's not ambidextrous. Um, that's about it today. Uh, thanks. We'll be having a, uh, or a uh, shooting test and an accuracy test. Later, uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks. Go Vancouver!